God doesn't give them hidayah, I'm, you know, it's going to be very hard for me to accept the fact that my parents are eventually going to hell. You know. So that's that. That is very difficult, bro. And you merely, the way you've just articulated that to me, and even maybe the people that are watching, even if I had a really hard heart, that that affects me as well. Yeah. So I. I refuse to accept that if you, when the time's right, again, you don't know where that time is. You have to ask Allah for when that time is. You might even speak to your mother <clears throat> upon occasion or your father with such sentences and say, look, I have concern for you. I have worry for you. This, I don't know what's going to happen to me afterwards. Bro, sometimes that's, what, that's all it is. We don't need fancy arguments. Don't need fancy things. Sometimes it's just a heart to heart conversation. But before then, knowing what the opportune time is, that comes from dua. You, you make dua, you pray to Allah. Certain, I know Abdul Rahim Green, his father accepted Islam on his deathbed. And then he passed away. So, well, you it, know, there's also, sorry, there's also, I'm not sure if it's the Prophet's uncle, alayhi salatu wasalam, that was, did not accept Islam. Yeah, but Talib, he didn't. Yeah. And it's scary. Yeah, it is. This it is, is very, very scary. You know, and that, that's, that's what I'm saying, bro. That from I'm trying to hit it from different angles like psychologically sociologically like psychologically it's like knowing when's the best time to speak to the person hitting it from this angle hitting it from that angle rhetoric how to speak and you know waiting for positions like maybe your mom's really upset about something and say look inshallah everything will be okay or, or uh, that might be like <laughs> one of the not inshallah things will be okay but does she believe in God though she does my parents, that's, that's the thing, you know, my parents don't drink, they don't smoke, they believe in Allah. They just they believe in the Prophet? I feel like they do, they just never tell me. Okay. I feel like they, they know that's the truth. Yeah. But societally, they live in a societal kind of lifestyle, like not, yeah. a, not a religious life. Whatever the society is, whatever their surrounding is, they go with it. The other day they were going to Christmas, celebrating Christmas with their Christian friends. Yeah. And I was telling them, why are you going to celebrate Christmas? Yeah. And they go like, Rami, we accept all religions and you know, we do this and that, we don't, we don't discriminate. And, and then I told them like, you accept all religions, but you can't accept, accept who I am. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it upsets but that's, me. It upsets no, but that's me. good though. That's, that, that will have put a seed in their head thinking he's got a good point. But remember, you want it and I, obviously it's very difficult to sympathize with such such a situation you're absolutely right i don't claim to know how you're feeling but all i'm saying is that the time will come from allah it won't come from me it won't come from you if it's written from them it will come but in order for you to survive till that time and be equipped for that time constantly asking allah constantly looking for for ways to kind of put that forward like that point that you made to your parents is fantastic I, I, I refuse to believe that that's not going to have any impact they on them whatsoever. Angry, you know? whenever no, I but that's a fine. Point whenever I have a debate with them and I see them get angry, I just go like, you know what? But that's good. I get it. But so the thing is, you've said something, then you just let them, and then you realize I went a bit too far. Da, 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 you change the subject. But when their mom's washing the dishes, dad's in that long drive, they're going to be thinking about what you said. I'm telling you, bro, they don't like to admit it because you're the son, they're the parents. They're supposed to know more than you. They're supposed to be in a position of, you know, um, control and command. Suddenly, the one that we've given birth to, the one that was in his nappies, he's telling us. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, of course it is, bro. Because with parents, they'd see it like that. And they will never, they, they, some parents will not show it to you. That doesn't mean that they are not feeling it inside. That's what I'm saying, bro, that just make sure you have that ikhlas and you keep trying because at the end of the day, that's what's going to help you. That when you say, you know what, I, I honestly was doing my best. I tried my best and khalas. That's, that's, that, that's all we can really do. But that strength to kind of know what to say and when to say it, that will come from Allah. That knowing when and what qadr is, that will come from Allah. But to try, you're mashallah doing fantastic. More of this, if you see it's pushing them a bit too hard, back off a little bit. D don't debate. Parents don't like debate. Yeah, They like stories. Stories is the best way to get through to somebody that 
in a, in a roundabout, in a soft way. That's why the Quran is filled with stories. Stories is the best way to teach people because it's done indirectly. The person doesn't feel attacked. Yeah, if I tell you, oh man, there was a guy, you said Druze, isn't it? Yeah, I met another brother, you know, he's from the Druze thing and you know what, he, when he was standing, you know, he wasn't standing like this, you know, he was standing with his arms to the, standing with his arms to the side and this and that. Now, automatically, I haven't told you to release your arms, but you're thinking, oh, so he was doing that. So maybe, maybe I should do that, but I didn't tell you to do that. Do you see, I'm telling you of somebody else that was doing that. And then you're automatically, the questions are coming to you and the answers are coming from yourself. That's why stories and waqiyas, which means stories of happenings of other people that has happened to Sim Similar example, you can even, for example, say if I was in your situation, I'd say, Mom, you know, I just, just come from the mosque today. My friend's mom passed away and, you know, he is absolutely in tears. Like he's just... Uh, she didn't accept Islam and I don't know what to say to him. Like, what do you think I should say to her? And then whatever she says, there's no right or wrong answer. She can say, I'll tell him, hey, she, they can do what they want. This is wrong. This is this, this is that. Yeah, he was really sad, mom. He was really sad. You're not saying, right, this is right, this is wrong. You're just talking about emotion. It's a, it's a subjective experience you're talking about. So sometimes with debates, we're, we're very hopped on to facts. Sometimes just reflecting a story and just emotion or just a question. Mum, what do you think about this thing? Hear their thoughts. Mm, interesting. And then you don't say anything. But well, what do you think? Uh, Mum, you know I disagree with this obviously. It starts like that, you know. You see. But yeah. then say, but obviously I don't want to make you upset. Yeah. Uh, so khalas, it is what yeah, it is. Yeah. I so think, yeah. They respect that, bro. But slowly, slowly, bro. I'm telling you, slowly, slowly. My brother, has, my younger brother, has accepted Islam because he. Alhamdulillah, he, <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, before I, um, when I used to do everything in secret, because mm. I used to live in Dubai with my family. When I when I used to do everything in secret, my YouTube account is linked to my our TV. Mm. And I used to search like Zakir Naik, and I used to search like surahs from the Quran and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we used to open the TV, the YouTube TV, and his friend when he'd come over, his friend used to tell him, "Isn't that your brother's account?" Yeah. We were like, "Yeah," and his, his friend was a Muslim, mm -hmm. so his friend encouraged him, and my brother also started. Uh, and Alhamdulillah, now slowly, slowly, I'm not. My brother, I recently found out he kept it away from us, just like I kept it away from my family. Yes. And I told him, you should have told me, and we should have, we could have supported each other. I was going through this on my own. Yes. I was going through that pain on my own. Why didn't you tell me? Yes. Why didn't you make me feel like, you know, you feel what I feel? Yeah. You know. The the Druze, um, which country primarily? Primarily follows? Lebanon, Syria, Jordan. And Palestine. that's where your parents are from. My my parents are Lebanese. Lebanese. My, my mom's Syrian. My dad's Lebanese. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Druze. Um, I think. I've done, I've, done, I've done a bit of research. I think it's a sect of Shia. Okay. I'm not too sure. Don't call me on that. I'm not too sure. Yeah. But I'm not really... It just didn't go into my mind. It didn't make sense to me. So I I just uh, tried to find the truth on my own. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Alhamdulillah. I asked a lot. And, yeah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah keep us steadfast. Keep, Alhamdulillah. Keep us, keep us on the right way. Because think about it, bro. If it, if it came to just us supplicating and somebody accepts Islam, sometimes a person is not ready. Sometimes they need to go through certain things. Allah has a plan for all of us. Some people, they need, they need a few knocks in life for them to realize, you know what, let me listen to what my son is saying. Let me listen to this. So many people, they, they come back. Even in the park, you see people more receptive. They're like, yeah, years ago, I wasn't. Today, somebody accepted Islam today. And he said, yeah, just uh, I've come to a point in my life that it's, yeah, it's enough's enough. Like this, this is the only way. So Alhamdulillah, um, Qadr, it's something that's decided by Allah. If I was to make dua and so and so, everybody would be Muslim in the park today. <laughs> but of course we, we would love that and uh, I'm not trivializing, of course, the, the want of certain people accepting Islam more than others. And of course our parents, it's enough to break us. Of course it is. Um, but the thing that deserves and the, the, the strongest connection that we have, bear in mind sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, all transient. 
no relationship comes close to the relationship that we have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have to make a choice. I've come to terms with that. I have come to terms with that. It's just so hard. It's difficult. Of course. And inshallah, when the time's right, the one who you have made the sacrifice for, inshallah, the time will come that they accept Islam. That's, that's primary. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. If Allah does not will it, then may Allah give us the strength to handle that decision and uh, give us khair. Maybe, bro, something might happen. Bro, I've seen people that something happens in their life and they're like, you know what, I want to make sure no one else goes through this. They start, you know, going on dawah expeditions and learning the religion and making sure hundreds of people accept yeah. Islam. Yeah. Wallah a'lam what the plan is. Yeah. Wallah a'lam, I, I you don't know. And the thing is, even yeah, with our parents, bro, sometimes maybe they say even with certain people that khair, that's, that's another issue. That's with other people that Islam hasn't reached. But inshallah, a few of those words have helped, bro. Inshallah, I appreciate your time. No, Thank my pleasure, so brother. For my pleasure. And time. My pleasure. And jazakallah for waiting as well. Yeah, no, that's all right. Alhamdulillah. When you see, yeah. when you see Ali Dawa here as well. I, th I was going to speak to Ali Dawa because he's, yeah. he's had a similar yeah, kind experience. Yeah, experience, exactly. You know, and maybe he could relate to what I'm going through. And maybe yeah. he could advise me on what to do, how to handle this, these situations better. Yes. But Alhamdulillah, I got to see him. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, we have benefited. Inshallah, inshallah. I appreciate your time. Take, Take care, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Adam, how are you, brother? I watch a lot of your stuff. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, bro. I'm good. How are you? You had a question? Yeah, I had a question. I want to talk to you. Hopefully, off camera. Yeah, that's fine. While you guys are talking off camera, I'm just going to go pray Asim. Yeah. Yeah, just keep in mind, then I'll be coming. Yeah.
And you've not shown me from one of them where the papacy is. You've not shown me prayer to saints or prayer to Mary in one of them. Because no Catholic can. Now you came on camera that you are a Catholic. That's what you claim. Okay. You claim that you are Catholic. But, but that, that's the thing. If you want to be a Catholic, you're going to have to be a That's what you claim. I mean, you can know your head. This is what you came on camera. I've got many people to get to me to bring up for you to show you. Mary will curse you. Mary will curse me. Yeah, that's, that's the sad <laughs> That's the sad thing. Mary might curse me because of the gin that you've got inside of it. The fact is, it says here, 1 Thessalonians 5.22 Abstain from all appearance of evil. If you, my friend, are engaging in Roman Catholic worship and veneration of icons in the Eastern Organization, you, my friend, are engaging in heresy. That's the fact. The Bible yeah. says in Galatians 1, 8 to 9, it says this, but though we are an angel from so heaven, and this is your Bible, so always you got from the, the authoritative version to you, but though we are an angel from heaven, preach any of gospel unto you, and that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Now notice, he will go to Mansour, 
So I'm going to interrupt the, the, the Dow. The Bob said that literally. It's, on, it's going to be on camera if, if, if they post the out. That's all they got left. Yeah, you know, it doesn't He just sees you as a uh, you know a daddy. So come and interrupt. Daddy. Yeah. Handsome. Yeah, handsome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot that bit. Uh, please forgive me. I, I, I won't make a mistake again. So it's, it's yeah. the argument of Christian between Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Let them tear each other down. Yeah, yeah, I'm just wondering what's going on. That's that's all they got left now. I don't know which brother the brother was like in the sanctuary over here. I prefer that explanation. Yeah, he's starting to grow a hump. Watch it down. Look at all these colours. You brought a smile on him. <laughs> Don't forget, he's handsome. <laughs> I saw you on a poster on the side of shoes. You're calling me a hair You're calling me a hair What's going on with that? <laughs> anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what was going on. No, we were just talking. The guy just came and said, No, literally, that's all we've got left. Yeah, no more Christian I'm just going to interrupt. That's all they do. I know, because I'm going to respond to it. I'm going to respond to it. I'm going to respond to it. Yeah, bro. So, anyway. Nothing down. If he... So, so give me more context and give me more information. So you heard what I've said about being ready about this thing, which is very important, bro. Not saying that that's something that you would do, but because some people can't come from broken relationships, some women can't come from broken relationships, you don't want to ruin someone's life just because you like somebody or just like Exactly. How do I have this image? Thank <laughs> you. 